Real Fan Opinions brought to you by Wash and Go. How are we doing guys? UFF Daily Transfer Deadline Day and um, it's a bit quiet at the moment. Um, first piece of news we're going to get into straight away are the done deals. Chelsea, they have signed their new goalkeeper. Now, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his surname because I will just butcher it. Um, but they've got their man um, from Atletico Bilbao. £71 million. The most expensive goalkeeper in history. Unbelievable. Don't know a lot about him. Haven't seen a lot of him. I know that Real Madrid were trying to sign him come January time. And the price tag was 18 million. Big jump. Um, of course, after that move uh, didn't go through, Bilbao tied him down to a new contract, put a release clause in there, and that's why he's the price that he is. He's highly thought of, um, and they say that in the future he's going to be an unbelievable goalkeeper. But right now, yeah, that's a lot of money to pay. Um, and of course, the reason why they've had to go and pay that kind of money is because Thibaut Courtois has moved to Real Madrid. £35 million. That is done. That is uh, dusted and over the line. Even Courtois himself has already changed his social media accounts to Real Madrid from Chelsea. Um, I believe that he's also cancelled a farewell um, message to Chelsea fans because um, I think he's realised that nobody gives a shit and that they actually don't care what he's got to say and that they actually believe he's a snake and um, I kind of have to agree with him to be honest because of the way he's gone about his business he's forced this move through um, he went AWOL um, at the start of the week refused to turn up to training and um, yeah he's effectively forced to move through kind of like Chelsea's hands were tired what do they do? They've had to go and do what they've had to do. So there we go. Player power takes over, really. So looking at some other bits of news, of course, Arsenal, um, are they going to get some transfer business done? It was reported yesterday that they were going to be in for the centre-back from Croatia, um, Vida. But that doesn't look like it's materialised. The, um, you know, the representatives from his club in Turkey at the moment were all in London yesterday and people were saying that's what they were there for. But it looks like they were actually there for a spina. Um, so, yeah, don't look like that's going to happen. Doesn't look like Arsenal are going to be signing anyone. And I feel a little underwhelmed. We've done some good business and we've got some key areas sorted. I just feel that we're short by a couple of players. And that's just that, you know, that nagging little thing inside of me that's just kind of eating away. But we'll wait and see when the season starts, of course. Um, but they're saying that with Arsenal, it's all about players going out than coming in. Now, one player that looks like he's left Arsenal and he's officially gone is Lucas Perez. Now, there's no official confirmation yet, but Jack Wilshere has posted on his Instagram this morning a um, video of Lucas Perez in the West Ham kit, in the changing rooms, getting ready for training. So, although it's not official, it's basically done, isn't it? So, um, yeah, Lucas Perez looks to be a West Ham player now. Um Going to Manchester United, what are they going to be doing? Toby Alderweireld, is he going to be coming from Spurs to Manchester United? Don't really know. I know that Jose Mourinho has got a press conference coming up because, of course, they play tomorrow. They open the Premier League um, account against Leicester. So um, he's doing his usual press conference pre-match and whatnot. So it'd be interesting to see what he says in that and whether he says that they're looking for a couple of players or whether that's it. And... Um, if that is it, I don't think Manchester United fans are going to be too happy about that. So, yeah, we will wait and see. So, that is pretty much it for today's UFF. There's not really much to talk about at the moment. It's still early in the day. Time is, what, just gone 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, lots of things can happen. There's about seven hours of the window left. Um, keep an eye on UFF today because we're going to be doing a transfer deadline day show. Um, which will come out later on. I'll put some links up on my social accounts and whatnot to let you know. But I'm going to be there. Um, there's going to be a few familiar faces there. And we're going to be counting down the clock. Coming to five o'clock. I've also got an exclusive interview later today. Um, which I will be doing. Um, and I'm going to try and get that one out tonight. But if not, tomorrow at the latest. So, 
yeah, that's it for now. Keep an eye out and we'll wait and see what happens in the next seven hours or so. I'll see you lot then. I'm out of here.